Guitar is a beautiful instrument, but also it can be some other things if we just want it to be. In this video, I'm gonna try to explore unusual techniques that I dig on guitar. They're very simple to do. Most of them you can just do today. Um, some of them take a little bit of practice. Um, I'll just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's dive in. Oh, before you dive in, please click the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Just need a piece of paper. So the first one is this. Um, basically, kind of like prepared guitar, if you will. Just chopping it, and you can decide on how thick you want it to be in according to the sound you're trying to get. And it gives us this like cool, kind of like percussive sound. Um, and you can you can adjust and try it as you feel like. This is what I do. I just kind of do it between the strings, and then I push it a little bit back, and then this is that sound. Sounds almost like. Uh, Not like a guitar. I can let me try and loop something. Uh, please drop a comment. Tell me if you have some cool techniques, and I'd love to check them out. Maybe a little chord. Maybe a little line. What's, what's interesting for me about it is, again, it's, it doesn't have to be this African kind of chorus sound. It's just like, it just takes guitar, just put it out of context a little bit, and it gives us these, whoa, just these cool flavors and colors that we can, sure, it's more percussive even. But it's really, really interesting to see how our instrument can just like that turns into this magical thing. Another very cool technique is to take your pick and flip it and just use this side. You can get this kind of sound. You can play it on chords, but I like sometimes just doing it on power chords. So check this out on F for a second. And I'll loop this for us, so. so this is this color. And then, I can also play an octave here with maybe this hammer on, just one hand, and try to use the other hand to play maybe the pentatonic. It doesn't have to be in time, this is just this cloud. I mean, it's really fun to play it in time as well, but it's also really cool just like this. It's a really nice kind of exercise and it doesn't have to be a minor scale, it can be anything, right? I can decide this is a major. I can play... Uh... Right, whatever you want. The thing is like, it's a, it's a really nice sound that it doesn't come out of guitar usually. It's really nice to practice. Um, you can also do ideas that are just like hammer on. Right, these kind of things. Um, this is really um, cheap <laughs> because you don't need to buy anything and you get like almost a different instrument. It doesn't have to be this crazy virtuosic thing, it can be just this kind of color and of course the more we control the sound or the different kind of colors maybe even with a all right so next I'm gonna take this guitar with regular tuning and change it. Check this out. Okay, so what I just did, I tuned the guitar in a, this random way, which is D, A, D, A, D, uh, sorry, A, D. <laughs> so really only two notes, but again, I've never played this tuning, honestly, but it's a cool idea to explore the instrument, just because, I mean, it just it's a cool thing. Again, maybe it's not to play this all over your life, might be also, but just like, it's fresh to say like, ah, oh, what happens if I... <laughs> I never played this chord, you know? Or what happens if I do this? Wow, I actually love it. It's kind of sick. 
And what happens if I do, um... Whoa, okay. Not exactly in tune. Maybe I can loop something like this. I mean, the point is that the guitar is a very, very cool instrument that if we just try to... Just try to check it out and you know reach out to some stuff we've never done. Like I literally never play this tuning, and again, I'm gonna mess it up. Ooh, it's kind of cool. But it's just like exploring. So what I'm saying is. Um, one of the techniques that I have sometimes when I want to try and find something that I don't know is actually just completely random tuning. I'm not going to try necessarily to play the songs that I know, but I just will kind of like listen to the guitar in a fresh way. And I'm like, wow, this is so um, weird and cool. Yeah. So try it and see what you find. Another really, really cool guitar technique that I'm gonna try right now is taking a string and tuning it down and moving, like literally moving the whole string um, into the other string. Check this out. Tune it. Let's check it out. So D, A, D, A, D, I mean G. It's just regular tuning, but now check this out. Do it with another string set. Let me try. We have this D. This is kind of weird, right? Two strings hit here and they're super out. I don't know if this is really gonna be cool, but this is an experiment. So this kind of works, I think, here. But here, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe not as much, but. In any way, any case, uh, it's cool to experiment and sometimes it's just like you just need a little bit of like, you know. And sometimes you do want this sound of like. But it's a cool thing as, as a maybe writing or sometimes just. But I think if, if I shed it a little bit, I can bring something. But I think what's cool about all these ideas is that they just bring something different to the table. And it forces you to listen. And maybe you don't like it, which is totally fine, and you try different tuning, but you just try to break out of just the guitar guitar. I really like the idea of trying to find sounds that are not just guitar. On guitar. I think it's very exciting and um, I encourage us all to try and explore it. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.